Welcome aboard this special anniversary flight. December 2007 marks a very special milestone for Qantas. The 60th anniversary of the Kangaroo route from Sydney to London. It's an important milestone in the history of aviation and a reflection of the coming of age of Qantas as a truly international airline. To help celebrate this historic occasion, we're taking you back in time to where it all began. In the late 1930s, air travel from Sydney to England was a far cry from the speed and comparative luxury of today. In 1938, you would have started this trip by boarding a flying boat in Sydney's Rose Bay, finally arriving in Southampton no less than 36 stops and 10 days later. In 1944, Qantas Liberator aircraft operated the first legs of a newly designed route from Perth to Colombo. This new flight path flew up the west coast of Australia to reduce the amount of time spent in the air over water. Before setting out across the Indian Ocean to Colombo, the Liberators cut a staggering 10 hours from the previous flying time. From Colombo, passengers completed their journey with our airline partners Air India and finally on the British airline BOAC. But it was on December the 1st, 1947, that a new era in air travel finally dawned. For the very first time, Qantas, a single airline, was to fly all the way from Sydney to London. The state-of-the-art Qantas Empire Airways Lockheed Constellation, the Charles Kingsford Smith, took off for London under the command of Captains Ken Jackson and Don McMaster. With 29 passengers and 2,000 pounds of food parcels, the Constellation flew the 12,137 miles in just 55 hours and 7 minutes via Darwin, Singapore, Calcutta, Karachi, Cairo and Tripoli. Two nights were spent in the air and two nights on the ground, one in Singapore and one in Cairo. The Connie finally arrived in London four days and seven hops later on the 5th of December 1947. The Kangaroo Route was truly born. The Kangaroo Route soon became a vital link between Australia and Europe, providing not only a world-class passenger service, but also an essential cargo and mail service connecting Australia with the world. Constantly striving to provide a better, faster service, Qantas soon upgraded to the Super Constellation aircraft, which could not only fly further, but also fly faster than the original Connies. In 1959, the Kangaroo route moved into the glamour and service of the jet age, with ever-increasing speed and comfort on Boeing 707 aircraft. The 707 could fly 120 passengers from Sydney to London with the flying time reduced to a mere 37 hours. In 1971, the revolutionary Boeing 747 jumbo jet arrived on the scene and proved to become a benchmark for long-haul international travel for over 40 years. With over 400 passengers now flying in comfort, enjoying fine food, entertainment, and even an upstairs bar. Also introducing dedicated business class to the world of international travel. The entire trip took a mere 23 hours with just a single stop. Since the 1980s, Qantas service has continued to evolve with dramatic improvements in customer service. And in recent years, the level of comfort reaching new heights with the introduction of the award-winning Skybed. Qantas now has its sights set firmly on the future. And with the introduction of the magnificent Airbus A380 in 2008, even more passengers will soon be able to travel the historic kangaroo route in unparalleled luxury. But over the 60 years Qantas has flown the kangaroo route, there has been one constant, one thing that our passengers can always rely on. The unrivaled Qantas service and the dedication of our staff. 
That's our spirit. The spirit of Australia. Enjoy your flight.